We have a brand new show on 1011 Strong. It's called Cutter to Houston. This young lady plays the role of a doctor. A surgeon. A, sur a, a surgeon. Yes. She's going to be Dr. Beth Gilbert, and her real name is Shelley Hack. And we welcome you to this brand new Thank series. You. And it's, it's a rather unusual concept because a group of doctors get to go to a little tiny town tiny, in tiny Texas, town, yeah. Texas called Cutter, and it's kind of like the boondocks. It is not only kind of like the boondocks, it, it is definitely is. the boondocks. We're talking major boondocks here. And why do you get to go there? Well, one of the doctors of the three is from Cutter. It's a, about a small town that's never had a hospital before. And they all get together and they build this little hospital. And they're hooked up to Houston, which as you may know has a huge hospital facility, mm -hmm. so that we can use their facilities because our hospital is so small and couldn't afford it. One of the doctors, played by Jim Metzler, is from Cutter, and Cutter sent him to medical school. And one of the doctors is from Chicago, he's played by Alec Baldwin. And one of the doctors is from San Francisco, that's me. And we're all there for various reasons, and I can't tell you because you'll have to watch the show. I know, but I do want to talk about what? one thing. What's that? Because this is going to be, well, shall we say grim in a way. Grim. There is, there is a scene where you have to cut off somebody's arm. Well, now you don't exactly see the whole No, no, not when we, see, when we see the, the cutting, but it's grim in the sense that you have to tell his wife that the That's arm, true. this is a very sensitive, you, you, you're acting it's with It's interesting superb. because, thank you, w when I was preparing for this role, I spent time with a woman surgeon and watched operations and generally tried to find out as much as I could about being a doctor. And when I told people that I had seen operations, people said, ooh, didn't you feel sick to your stomach? You know, at the side of the blood or something. And I said, not at all. But what upset me uh, was the fact that there were people who were ill. I mean, it's very hard for, I think, a lay person. You know, you go on rounds in the morning, you see the people who are going to have operations, and it really upset me. I mean, I've done preparation for a lot of different roles, but this was really upsetting, and I think doctors necessarily have to kind of build a wall. Some, some kind of protective wall because you just can't take that home with you. And what I found with me was I took it home. You know, I saw these people who were ill, and I took it home. I mean, I, I wasn't prepared for the emotional impact that it had on me, which was pretty large. And, and I think that doctors do build up a protective wall, but I don't think you can ever get that protected. I mean, telling someone that their husband has lost an arm is a difficult thing to do. And then the way in which the man reacts when he wakes up after surgery to discover that his arm yeah. is missing. I mean... Well, now, wait a minute. We have some humor in our show, too. You're making it well, sound no, like but this, just this, terribly this was this was insignificant because we don't really see frequently in the doctor shows, you know, that kind of grim, grim reality. I liked it. Did you? I liked that. That's interesting. I mean, I guess that I see this show, that, you know, they're trying to make a whole. I mean, it is a medical show and it tries to deal with, with people's problems and people's fears because we all have certain fears. And we also try to have a light side to it too. I mean, we think we have some fun. I mean, the three of us certainly have a lot of fun doing it. Mm -hmm. But it, you do deal with things yeah. that are difficult. Uh, Shelley Hack has had a love affair with the word Charlie because if you That's recall, <laughs> she was one of Charlie's angels and also she was Charlie's girl in the, the Revlon, all the That's Revlon right. I think I'm going to marry a man named Charlie. You there must. must be one out there somewhere, don't you? <laughs> uh, you've been on the cover of Seventeen and Glamour and all the major magazines. Did anybody save those? Did you save yeah, them? My you mother, have a mother did. My with mother. A scrap, you must have a scrapbook that's terrific. She has a closet that's terrific. She won't let anybody hang clothes in there. She did. You know, it's a long time since I've been a model. It was really a different career and a different life. But she did. She saved them. But she I saved started them when off. I was young. She started. You know, when I was first starting. Because you started things. very early. Yes, about I did. fourteen or something. Oh no, sixteen. Sixteen. But it was a summer job. I mean, I was in school. That was a long time ago. Well, she was a model, so was she mm -hmm. instrumental in, you know, saying, hey, I think my daughter Shelley should no. be a model? No. No, no. You just did it on your own? Mm-hmm. I'm always curious about uh, w when somebody saves the scrapbooks. Do you go back and look at them? No, I haven't. You don't? Well, I come from a big family, so we have uh, lots of pictures. My mother always says if the house burned down, the first thing she'd grab would be all the family pictures, because <laughs> I have six brothers and sisters, and we have reams of slideshows and home movies and stuff. Mm -hmm. Well, tell us basically some of the plots as to where this is going, where Cutter to Houston is going. Well, that's hard because we're just on the third day of shooting of the first show, so it's hard to talk about the plots because, you know, I only know the one from the first show. But I think basically, from my point of view, my character, I've been real interested to do this because I think 
this particular character, she's not one of these pat career women that you see so often in, in uh, movie scripts, somebody in a suit with glasses, kind of grim and aggressive and overbearing. She's a real person. And I think that, I mean, you're a queer woman, I am, and we're, we've been to this sexual revolution where women work and you try to do a lot of different roles. It's confusing. It's confusing for men, it's confusing for women. And I know for myself, I'm trying to kind of find my way. And I like to play roles that reflect the problems I see in my life and the life of my friends on the screen. And I think she's very evolving that way. I mean, she's trying to find her way, too. A surgeon is a professional woman. Also, doctors tend to be somewhat isolated because they spend so much time training. And she's also a feminine person, you know, a woman. Yeah. So she's trying to solve those problems that I think we all are kind of trying to solve right now. Well, it'll be interesting to see how it develops and how the audience reacts. It's tough to get a new show on the air. Yeah, it really is. And we wish you the very, very best. Thank you. Cutter to Houston is the name of the program, starring Shelley Hack, who will be a doctor, and we'll be watching for her here on Town 11 Thank Strong. Thank you very much. Thank you. Pleasure meeting you. Likewise. Hey, hang in there, kiddo. Do my best. Stay with us. Tell 11 Morning continues.